Hi, my name is Ruben De Los Santos, and I'm Vice President of Commercial and Industrial Sales for Acclaim Energy. And today I just wanted to discuss a couple of different types of charges that you're going to start seeing on your retail invoices and may have actually started seeing on your retail invoices. Uh, these charges have to do with uh, Winter Storm Uri, which occurred in February of 2021. Uh, so the first of the charges I want to discuss are securitization charges. Uh, these securitization charges are two different types. There's a, uh, a default securitization charge and a securitization uplift charge. The first charge that I mentioned default has to do with the retail suppliers that basically defaulted during that winter storm Uri event. Um, and the uh, uplift charge has to do with other extraordinary costs that ERCOT experienced this during this event. So these charges aren't going to be terribly high. They're not expected to be uh, roughly um, in the range of a nickel to uh, rough. Actually, one of them is going to be about a penny per megawatt hour. The other one's supposed to be about a nickel per megawatt hour. Um, these aren't based on load ratio share. They're actually based on a per meter charge, and these are considered non-bypassables. They're very similar to the transition costs that were experienced uh, after Senate Bill 7 was passed, a deregulation of the, of the electricity market where utilities had to recover costs, stranded costs for poles, wires, generation, et cetera. Uh, so the larger of the two costs um, are, are new ancillary costs. And this is a new methodology that are put together um, back in July of 2021. Uh, this cost is actually a little bit more, a little bit more material. It's going to range in the dollar to $2 per megawatt hour range. And uh, what these ancillary costs are basically, or ancillaries in general, uh, have to do with um, additional standby generation. There's four different types of ancillaries in the ERCOT market um, that, are that are fairly well known, reg up, reg down, uh, spinning uh, responsive reserve and non-spinning reserve. These are, some of these have to do with uh, with generators that are just barely, barely uh, operating and are called on uh, when the grid needs them, typically during a weather event. Uh, so as I mentioned, the securitization charges, those are going to be passed through and that's perfectly fine. Uh, they should be the same across the board, similar to your, your wires charges. Um, the ancillary costs, uh, there's going to be a recovery associated with that, associated with those. Uh, some retailers actually started recovering uh, as soon as uh, I think there were October invoices, uh, but there are plans to recover uh, what, uh, what uh, the retailers have due to them. Uh, with respect to new contracts, in reality, uh, retailers shouldn't be recovering any new ancillary costs or costs associated with this change in law because it's a known event. So if you have a contract that's gonna begin uh, this year um, or anytime after July of 2021, they should have included the, uh, the new ancillary cost methodology. Uh, so um, here to claim we specialize in these types of things. Uh, we're, we're contract experts. Uh, we ensure that uh, the contracts are are not one sided, you know, that they're fair for both customer and retail supplier. Um, if you enjoyed this, you know, feel free to pass it along to your colleagues and uh, feel free to contact me. My number is 361-537-2472. You can also uh, find more information at our website at acclaimenergy.com. Thank you very much for your time.